One of the biggest problems with being a gun enthusiast, and chances are we're all guilty of it, is we find guns that are tried and true, but then we're always looking for the next best thing. And we live in a world where the technology of guns is advancing faster than ever before. So I wanna take a moment and just kind of talk through um, the consequences of that, because oftentimes, and we're all discovering this, is older technology is often a lot better. So I wanna kind of give some examples of this. Well, I used to carry a SIG P250. Love that gun, love that gun. I've owned a few of those. Um, still to this date, one of my all time favorite carry guns. Uh, but it's, it's a double action only trigger. However, it's the smoothest double action I've ever felt in my life. Um, revolvers, anything else, there's, there's not many <laughs> double action triggers that are as nice as the Sig Sauer P250 for some reason, they just nailed it. But then they went to the P320, which is the exact same gun for the most part, just with a striker fired trigger. Um, right away, I saw the benefit in that trigger over the double action, but there was a lot of issues and there still are a lot of issues with the P320. So I'm back to the P250. The P250 was tried and true, reliable, fantastic. Um, you know, so, so I, it, it's, a, it's just an opportunity to really just kind of go back and go, well, I know this works and it works well. Another example is the Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard in 380. I carry that gun. I've To date, I've carried that gun more than any other gun on the planet. I typically always have that gun in my pocket. Um, but it's a single stack. So when Ruger came out with their LCP Max, um, you know, it's, it's a double stack, about the same size. And I immediately saw the benefit in it. Um, and I carried that gun for a long time. Uh, I even made a video uh, title, I haven't carried another gun since I bought this one. And, um, and that was a very true statement. But over time, I realized it wasn't as accurate as the bodyguard, at least for me, and the way I shot. So I'd rather have less accurate, <laughs> uh, less rounds in a more accurate gun than more rounds in a less accurate gun. <laughs> so I went back to the bodyguard, you know, um, and my final example is I carried an EAA Vindicator around. It's like a $300 revolver. And I mean, there are so many fantastic revolvers out there. Um, and I've tried a bunch of them. And I finally got to the Kimber K6S and carried the heck out of that gun. I just didn't like it as much. Um, I didn't shoot it as well. Um, I, I don't know what it was. I didn't carry it as well. I, I really, with that one, I couldn't tell you what it was about that particular gun. I just like the older better um, in that particular revolver. Uh, I shot it better, I carried it better. Um, and, and it actually, to be quite honest, even shooting it um, had less recoil, um, you know? So there you go. That's kind of my whole point in all this is, you know, we as gun enthusiasts, you know, we are, you go to SHOT Show, you know, I'm going to SHOT Show in January and I'm gonna be looking for the next best thing and then I'm gonna be all excited about it and I'm gonna want it. And then eventually I'm probably not gonna keep it. I'm gonna end up going back to what I know is tried and true. Cause even to date, you know, there's one carry gun um, that if I knew that I had to use a carry gun, um, I was walking into a situation where I knew I was gonna use it. Um, I would definitely uh, carry an old, old Swiss AT-84S is what I would bring. Uh, there haven't been any technology that shoots as accurate as that for me <laughs> that's been created and that was made in 1984. So uh, there you go. Um, a lot of times old is better. I can think of a bunch of bolt rifles <laughs> that older are better as too, but I, you know, without continuing to give you a bunch of examples, I'd like to open it up. Um, what are some of your examples? Uh, what are some of the examples that you have that that you, you kind of had this gray gun, but then you saw this new technology and you went that way, but you realize, you know what, that old stuff is a lot better. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily a problem um, <laughs> to do this, because I always like trying the new stuff, but um, I could definitely say when it comes to a tool that you're gonna use to save your life and defend your life and the life of loved ones um, and the public, general public, um, Seems like you gotta really know it's gonna be solid. It's gonna be accurate, reliable. 
Um, and, and anything outside of that, just uh, the new technology is just that. It's just new technology. So um, any thoughts on any of that? Any comments on that? And please share your experiences if you have any like that uh, below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.